Welcome back, my friends. It's pink day today, because this is the nice jumper. I used to have a few of these jumper, and my brother Bill washed them. And these are quite, uh, well, they're cashmere jumpers, or whatever it is. And uh, they're nice and soft. And this is bringing out my pink side, because I am known as a gammon to some of the people on the comments, all these lefty little young people from all over the world. Anyway, uh, my brother washed them and scrubbed them in hot water, didn't use dreft or any of that stuff you're supposed to do, and they ended up, they fitted Action Man afterwards, so I'm keeping out the way with this, so it's a, a bit of a relaxing day today. I woke up yesterday with a real bad pain in my ankle, and I think it's gout. I used to get it in the toe, but now it's in the ankle. Oh, well, last night, I, I was taking these naproxins uh, that gives you the and then, and then I was taking other things to stop the and then I thought, oh, I'm still aching like hell, so I took good old-fashioned parrots, eat them all. The old parrots eat them all. That sorted my foot out. So this morning, I was a bit groggy when I woke up. And I, to be honest, I haven't had a shower. I've just, I thought, you can't smell anything on the screen anyway. It doesn't matter. But I did get a few things wrong this morning. I looked at the paper, and it said NASA have blown up a hemorrhoid. I thought, well, that is a bit strong, isn't it? And then I realised it's an aster asteroid that they have blown up. They have flown a thing into it, a spaceship. And, and this uh, asteroid, <laughs> the hemorrhoid, which is a pain in the ass, he was doing 14,000 miles an hour or something ridiculous, and they crashed a thing into it. So it could be a way of saving the planet, but they haven't thought this through, NASA, have they? Because they just smash it up into little bits, and all the little bits are coming and bash us all on the head and fall off it and all down and whatever. But that's not the point. When are these protesters going to protest about how we've blown up uh, an asteroid. How dare we alter nature? The world will end. Global warming. There'll be an asteroid attack. There might have been creatures in that asteroid. You know, it's uh, how dare they smash up an innocent planet? It, you know what I'd do? I'd wind them up even more. I'd say that NASA blew that uh, that asteroid up, it, practicing for fracking. <laughs> they don't like that, do they? They don't want any fracking trouble. That, that's a great thing about fracking. I hope it does produce a bit of gas, but the best thing it will do, it will get a few laughs on the television with those nice posh newsreaders and say, and now we have a fracking problem. And, we're go <laughs> and uh, we, had, we asked the spokesman of the fracking company uh, if we could have a word. And he said, sometimes frack on. And sometimes frack off. What would the sun would say the headlines? A fracking good time. Everyone's going to have some fun with this. What else is going on, which I'll talk about later in, uh, in Ustream, because it's a little bit sensitive, of course. Uh, the, Lester, the Hindus and the Muslims are, are moaning about who owns Kashmir, aren't they? And uh, do you think these jobs actually know where Kashmir is and why it is a disputed reason? And more still, who was buried there? <gasps> Do, 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 do. Yes, uh, so excuse me, you're from Leicester? You know, I'm from Leicester, yeah, I'm from Leicester, yeah. And I'm fighting for my race. And what's your race? Well, I'm a, I'm a Pakistani Muslim man. Yeah, and what about, do you know where Kashmir is? Kashmir. Yeah, I think it's next to the bank in the high street. The Kashmiri Tandoori. No, no, no. And anyway, why would you be protesting and fighting one another in this country with a disputed reason Kashmir is miles away? Are these just young yobs that want to have a fight? It's like the Iranians are protesting. The Iranians are now protesting and going apeshit about something that happened, a terrible thing that is alleged to have happened in another country. But why does throwing bottles at the police force in this country what do you think that the uh, the Ayatollah's going to say? Oh, all right, then forget it. Wear what you fucking want. Get some mini skirts on uh, because you know we can't have you bashing up uh, uh, British coppers. Uh, and and you know what? The other thing is about foreign news. Everyone's going pear shaped now about this new rather tasty little bird in uh, Italy called uh, Gloria Melons. Gloria, yes, of course, that's a fraudulent slip. Gloria Meloni. She's been made PM. Of course, they're all saying right wing, right wing, right wing. Well. What does that mean, right wing? Because she cares about her country. Because she's not a lefty, let our country be ruined by the minority. Is that what it is? She'd blow up an asteroid as soon as look at it. I can tell you that now. Do you know who I liked? I liked old Berlusconi, didn't you? Anyone who dies of their air and doesn't give a shit. I like that. And he looked as if he dished out the good news as well. God knows how at his age. I don't think he'd win an election. I don't think he's had an erection. Well, anyway, let's move on. Right, I'm going to finish this with a story about Italy. If I've told you this before... Just join in. It's a great joke. This was told to me by Greedo in, in Tramp. An Italian joke. 
he said that Mussolini, now a lot of you young people on here won't know, he, he was a fascist. He was a fascist. A lot of people didn't know who Hitler was. I said to a girl once, who was Hitler? And she said, I know who Hitler was. He started two world wars. What? And he started one world war. Well, he must have had something to do with the second one. I had a girl on the front row once <laughs> who didn't know who uh, Churchill was. I said Churchill was famous for being the last white man called Winston. Oh, racist, how dare you say that? So here we go, Italians. God love you Italians, especially Paolo Di Canio. What a man. Mussolini, El Ducci, that was his sort of handle, was driving through a little village in, in Rome during the war, and they're all there like that with the fascist salutes, apart from one bloke. So Mussolini said, stop at the car. And he went out, he said, what's your name? He said, I'm Giuseppe, I'm Giuseppe de Builder. You're a builder, yeah. Why you not do the fascist salute? This is fascist Italy. And I cannot do that, El Ducci, because things are not good. What is not good in fascist Italy? <laughs> it's a great accent, isn't it? He said, my toilet is blocked up. He what? My toilet is blocked up. I can't get the plumber. You can't get the plumber? Come here. He spoke to one of his henchmen. Hey, you you fucking mother. Huh? Hey, you fucking, you fucking. And so he drove off. Six months later, they're driving back through the same village. They're all there like that. And here's our man. He stood there like that as well. He said, stop at the car. And he walked over and said, I see. You see what I told you? You are now a good fascist. No, El Ducci. The shit is this high now. <laughs> Come on. Someone will find something to say about that. Oh, that's one of Jasper Carrot's jokes. Okay, everybody, I see you at U Street. Please join up. We're going places. Come with us. www.ustream.com. I don't think you have to do the W's. No, woo -woo -woo. just ustream.com. And I'll see you there and I'll carry on. Turn the page. See the comedy legend who refuses to be cancelled. Roy Chubby Brown, harmless vulgarity and friendly smut. I thought we'd sit right at the front in case one of the swans has left the knickers off. <laughs> we'll stream exclusively on Ustream.com. Just read that in the paper, you seen both, that's COVID. Who oh, the fuck got near him? And remember, if you're easily offended, don't effing watch it. I can remember when white people made adverts on the TV.